We have been reporting that 85% of our population have been fully vaccinated. I've been receiving many queries why our vaccine coverage appears to be lower than the reported figures in some other countries. And the reason is because some countries report vaccine coverage against eligible population, whereas we report against total population. So if we break down, 85% so of our population fully vaccinated, there's a remaining 15%. And if we break down the remaining 15% not vaccinated, it comprises as follows. 1% who are not living in Singapore, 9% who are children below 12 and not eligible, and the remaining 5% who are eligible but chose not to vaccinate. And so if we recalculate this based on eligible population, we are around 94% vaccinated. It is one of the highest coverages in the world. MOH will provide both figures from henceforth in our daily press release to give a fuller picture of the progress of our vaccination exercise. Some members of the public have also asked MOH about the choice of boosters, specifically after taking two shots of the mRNA vaccine, should they now take Pfizer-BioNTech or should they take Moderna? As the expert committee, our EC19V, has recommended, the two mRNA vaccines can be used interchangeably, regardless of whether the first two doses were Pfizer-BioNTech or Moderna. MOH has done a study recently on the relative effectiveness of Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna as booster shots in terms of reducing infection risk. We compared two combinations. Uh, one combination is PPP, means Pfizer-BioNTech, Pfizer-BioNTech, Pfizer-BioNTech as booster, PPP, versus PPM, means Pfizer-BioNTech, first dose, Pfizer-BioNTech, second dose, then Moderna, third dose, like what I have done and like what DMS has done. Uh, these, there are other, there are results for other combinations, such as MMM, MMP, uh, but I, sh I should caution that the sample sizes for these are not very large and the statistics may not be as meaningful. But just comparing PPP and PPM, the results are as follows. Uh, relative to two Pfizer-BioNTech doses, PPP reduces, further reduces risk of infection by 62%. As for PPM, the reduction is 72%. So both mRNA vaccines work very well as boosters, with PPM having a slight edge. Regardless, the impact on the reduction of severity of illness is extremely high for both combinations. There has also been a lot of interest from parents on children vaccines. MOH has signed a new supply agreement with Pfizer, which includes deliveries of pediatric vaccines. And we are in constant contact uh, with Pfizer who will try to fulfill the deliveries as soon as possible. In the meantime, our own children vaccination trial is making progress. The purpose of this trial is to smoothen operations when we have to do it at scale because young children are involved. Uh, KK Hospital is overseeing it and planning to start recruitment of the first batch of participants. So if your child is between 5 and 11 years old, you can find out from the KKH's website and Facebook page more about the study as well as the registration details. And this will be available by end of this week.